buy this buy this now immediately watch till the end to know which one is it hello guys it's jordan from jordan keep review come back today we'll be talking about a few i am some are good some are okay and some is quite bad yeah so first of all we'll be talking about kz pr2 so this is an im which has a lot of discussion in the past month i think if you are in the hobby you should know okay so there are two variants of this uh, pr2 i think the first batch of uh, people gotten this is quite lucky because the tuning of it and the review from that is quite good okay it's quite good the impression was quite positive and the one i'm gotten here i believe this is the one um, the second variant okay so and it is not very good <laughs> okay it doesn't impress me too much okay do the context i love the pr1 pro very very much okay it is one of the planar that i would recommend to a lot of people it's fun it's engaging it don't have a lot of uh, planar timber which is a little bit of sound might be a little bit metallic so you don't have all those so that's why i like it quite a lot so i'm having very very high expectation on the pr2 but it is just a bit too harsh i would say a bit too spicy a little bit too hot in the travel area so it has a lot a lot of travel and although it has a banner a planar base which is quite a lot uh, it doesn't it's not able to cover up okay the hotness of the travel on the pr2 so i think if you guys can search on the moddings of this pr2 online maybe you can get a few of it so for example you can put filter on the nozzle itself to cut down a little bit of that energy which i tried but um the whole thing just turn, turns out to be a little bit strange okay a bit weird so well if you have any better ideas can leave the comment down below let other people know this as well because i think this is quite a regretful purchase to a lot of people like me <laughs> so this is the pr2 which i am not recommending to all of you so next we have kz d5 okay this is good i would say okayly good so d5 it has tuning no, uh, switches it's not nozzle anymore it's switches so it have four tuning switches on it and i guess that switches nowadays are quite common yeah quite common easily you can get two switches minimum and up to four maybe you can get even like eight switches so these four switches um if it's all in default mode then it's nothing special okay nothing special about this im but if you tune it after you play around with it after a while you find that the best i would think that the best setting on this is up down up down correct up down up down the others uh it might be subjective but i just think that this is the best tuning compared to the rest of them okay so not sure what switches does what okay because the the changes are quite minor okay the changes are not so drastic and then i don't listen to it for a long 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 time so up down up down at least is the one that i find it most favorable okay and another thing is that the build quality on this is quite good okay this is quite hefty have that metal shell and it just felt quite uh, comfortable to to put on to and to hold on to as well because it's have that heftiness and have that feeling of premium okay so it is an im that you would like okay this is a uh, dd im that you would really enjoy so the base is quite good it's a bit warm uh, tuning is towards the warmer side and the vocal still come out a little bit uh, i would say have that own sparkle it can sparkle quite a lot as well but it's not sharp okay not like the pr2 to the technicality on this are not very very well but it's just average but overall as the tuning itself is a very competent set okay it's a very competent set with a little bit of bass emphasized in the bass and a uh, vocal it doesn't get overshadowed too much so it's still uh, i mean have its own uh sparkle in it so next we'll be going to an im that i really hated a lot okay so this is the 
Packer. Yeah, I believe it's called a Packer. So P E C K E R. Yeah, this I am is such a nightmare in the I am world because I just find it to be it has all the traits that you guys hated. Okay, so the base on here it has a lot of base. Yeah, a lot of base, but all of them is uncontrolled. Base. So this is um, it's quite muddied, okay? It's quite muddied, and the base don't have body to it, and it's quite shouty as well. So it have some weird peaks here and there. So just find it to be a little bit weird, okay? This I am like, do you all even like try this out before you even send out to the distributor, to the sellers, or to put it on sales online? So. I doubt they do so because this is just unlistenable to me, really. Okay, I'm a very forgiving person, okay. Even down to a five dollar IM, I can listen to it. And maybe some even like uh, some stock earphones from when you're buying some new phones are still acceptable to me. But this is not, okay, this is not, it has the very very bad bass and um, it's quite sharp as well. So technicalities are not there and it's uh, recess meets. Everything that you can imagine of is uh, which is in negative words then this should be it. Okay, this should be it. Maybe some of you might say that the uh, oh we like the vocal on this IEM it is shine quite a lot. The vocal is quite forward. But try this on J pop man, try this on J pop you you will hate it. A lot so and I am that I am quite disappointed and I'm quite disappointed with the whole brand as a whole itself because I just find that they, some, they had some good IMs that I used to like but nowadays not sure why they keep coming up with all these uh, IM that is not very well toned okay well thought of off. and the cable on this is is something that you would you will cry, okay, if you look at the cable, yeah, it's really, really bad. So, an IM that you guys can buy, okay, for your reference of what, something that is not very good, okay. So, if you buy this, after that, you will appreciate what you have owned now, okay. I don't think anything else can go as bad as something like this. So sorry for for the bashing because I just got really really disappointed. Yeah. And next we have a brand. Uh, not say that it's a very new brand, but just a brand that's starting to go into the international market. CVJ. Again, I when I spoke to the person, I just um, teased them a little bit, saying that, oh you guys with this uh, weird capital letters name again, so we have a lot of it as usual tfz we have kz cca cvj trn all of them so <laughs> this is cvj and um surprisingly okay surprisingly they are good okay they're quite good okay it's a good attempt for them to go into the international market we have the may okay may is a very interesting iam because their tuning switches on it is i would say quite special okay this switches on the May, it does a lot of changes to the sound, okay, because it will just cancel out the driver itself, okay, so it has a 1DD and 2BA, I believe, so if you turn on the switches, turn off, it will just basically turn off some of the drivers, so I would think that the, actually just leave the switches as it is, okay, as a default uh, version of it so the stock is the best okay the stock is the best everything turned on okay with all the switches on um, just that the, the tuning on this is is a lot of bass as well okay a lot of bass and then the although this I would say is warm overly warm to me because it's a little bit muddied okay so a little bit muddied it has uh, a little bit of bleeding going on giving it a lot of meat okay and the treble and the vocal are all right okay but just that something like high hats okay it it might be a little bit unbearable sometime okay but i would still think that overall as the tuning of this may 
is a good attempt okay it's a good attempt is it something that is comparable to the sim god ef500 uh, not really but it's still a very good attempt at least they have this very nice shell to them and the shell reminds reminds me a lot of the moondrop kato uh, the kxs so it's quite nice looking i would say and then it's a very good attempt at least it has uh, technicalities and detail retrieval are quite all right as well uh, with exchange of a little bit of pickiness here and there sometime but still good attempt yeah good attempt and wouldn't say that is a uh, is a bad iron but still something that i'm okay with yeah so next go to the iron that i'm teasing about it's from cvj as well <laughs> they are going with a lot of letters okay so it is the cvj txs okay t um, thailand x-ray singapore yeah so a lot of alphabet going on and this i am only cost you roughly around ten dollar you're right ten dollar with switches and is sounded good really good okay if i will have to, i were to have a tier list on uh, all my reviews i would think that this would be the one i pick in the ten dollar price point okay it is really really good as in in price to performance ratio it has good base that doesn't bleed clean base okay clean base that give you uh, enough of warm to it okay is it's quite good okay it's quite rumble is there Okay, punches are there, which is from a $10 IM. I am literally surprised. Okay, and the one of the things that I like most is the shell. Okay, the shell has that semi custom shape, with, which you can only find from a more expensive IM. Okay, you have this uh, wing that actually can fit into your concave and then it just fit quite comfortably okay for ten dollar i am this is unheard of look at other ten dollar i am which i don't really find a lot of ten dollar i am out there which is worth uh talking about but this is good okay the shell okay don't tell anyone this is ten dollar walk outside okay this will you feel comfortable and people will like the looks of it okay the design is quite good and also the sound okay and the sorry the nozzle the nozzle uh the ball on this are quite nice okay the the, the nozzle on this are quite nice as well is at least it's metal okay it's metal just that uh a little bit of complaint nitpicking would be the two pin okay this the two pin that a user kz im are going for so this two pin is quite difficult for you to find a replacement cable okay and um, I would say this IM, okay, if you don't like the cable, swap up to something like a true wireless, I would say, what do we call that? A true wireless adapter. Yeah, then just use this IM as a true wireless IM. And you will just love the sound of this, okay? This is just $10, okay? Skip your lunch, okay? Skip your dinner, skip your Big Mac, okay? Then get one, okay? Get one. If you are um, a person that actually venturing in this uh, hobby that you like to buy a lot of uh, budget IM or you just would like to try some new sound, get this and try. Okay, try this out. The sound of this, I would say, is overall balanced. Okay, overall balanced with a little bit of bass boost, which is I would think is quite normal. Okay, I would say this a bit neutral to bass boost and it has everything there. Okay, has everything there uh, at least everything was done correctly okay base is all right nothing to nitpick about a ten dollar im vocal are there not overly sharp or not too recessed and technicalities are not i would say it's not cover up okay it's not viewed it's just quite nice okay ten dollar can't believe it that's ten dollar and i love it among the rest that i mentioned just now besides the d5 okay i think this might be the one that i would choose okay out of all of them okay i just buy this okay if you have a lot of nephews a lot of cousins okay which is pestering very annoying get this okay get five of them and distribute it to all of them and keep them quiet for a while yeah 
is this good okay is this good so for you guys out there i would say this might even be comparable i mean might be okay close to comparable to something like uh tangstu one a okay so it's almost there okay it's almost there ten dollar is half the price of those on the twenty dollar tier uh, price point but it's almost comparable okay just need a little bit of refining but comfort wise okay this is far more superior to any of the twenty dollar price point okay and the build quality on this is good as well okay it's good so at least it's better than the tansu one -er. and i believe the new uh set that they came in they came out the tansu changle changle or something that you all would like to pronounce it with this is better than that it's better okay ten dollar um nice really trust me get this okay if you like this leave a comment down below and to show the rest okay that is a very good i am so and i am yeah just a joke aside spelling error hello we have supposed to be tunable in ear dynamic earphone but he missing out is tumbo tumbo in ear dynamic earphone okay tumbo so buy the tumbo you will not regret it for ten dollar and if they got sales going on get this they got coupon so you can might get it for around like eight to nine dollar no brainer so see you all next time and hopefully we have new IMs coming soon please subscribe and see you guys soon bye bye